So here we are in Austin, Texas. A few days ago, you texted to the Associated Press and said, I told her to go wherever she wants, her meaning me, mm -hmm. and I'll answer the questions directly, honestly, and candidly. That's all I can say. Those are your words. Those are my words. When we first met a week ago today, we agreed that there would be no holes barred and there would be no conditions on this interview and that this would be an open field. I think that's best for both of us. I, I agree. <laughs> so here we go, open field. So let's start with the questions that people around the world have been waiting for you to answer. And for now, I'd just like a yes or no. Okay. Okay. This whole conversation, we have a lot of time, will be about the details. Yes or no? Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Yes or no? Was one of those banned substances EPO? Yes. Did you ever blood dope or use blood transfusions to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Did you ever use any other banned substances like testosterone, uh, cortisone, or human growth hormone? Yes. Yes or no? In all seven of your Tour de France victories, did you ever take banned substances or blood dope? Yes. In your opinion, was it humanly possible to win the Tour de France without doping seven times in a row? Not in my opinion. So when did you first start doping? We're done with the yes and no's. We're done with the yes and no's. Um, you know, I suppose earlier in my career there was uh, cortisone and then um, uh, the EPO generation began. And, uh, began when? For me or for? For you. Um, uh, Mid-90s. Mid-90s. 